they never talk about the destruction. There was supposed to be all these buildings built, but then what happened, right? That's what we're trying to find out. Not like, what happened here, right? This has been destroyed. Um, but look at this. Again, you know, Greco-Romano columns, you know, what we're told is Greco-Romano, but this place has been destroyed. You can see how nice it was. And, you know, this looks like it's been blown up, doesn't it? Doesn't look melted or anything, it just looks destroyed. This is Alai Dawaza, um, the entrance to the Kuwat Mosque. And very Indian, as you can see. I mean, completely. Oh, this has been ripped off or fallen off this bit of the facade. But um, so intricate, right? And, and this one kind of looking a bit Moorish, you know, with the stars here and the circles. But, you know, it's just it's just the, the front gate. Look, this is all just destroyed down here, mud everywhere. Might be lower, I don't know, foundations or who knows, floors down there. But this old building has just fallen, fallen into disrepair and we see this all the time. This is... Delhi in this is 1910 this one uh, but look at this walled, walled city right again this is looking you know kind of what we would call Moorish you know with uh, the point there on the arch but as you can see this is a built-out city this it looks looking pretty dilapidated you know we can see these big spires popping out in the background but these are all two-story buildings as well so you know, there's a lot more in here than it's not just slums. It looks like it's it's old world buildings that are just fallen into disrepair. Scraps the cat is meowing at me. I'm doing a live scraps. Um, this is Chandni Chowk or Silver Street. That's much easier. 1857 in Delhi and you know the same kind of thing right dirt roads but we have all these walls or is that, that could even be some kind of water channel um you know two-story masonry buildings and this place is completely built out now down the front here this is the new the new construction right this is the slum you know the slums down here made out of wood and you can see the difference between that these can you know these constructions and this Right, this is a, a big two-story masonry building and these are just shacks made out of wood. So even though this is, you know, it's not looking like it's full of huge old world buildings, they're all still big, you know, two, three-story masonry buildings in the 1860s in India, right, which was supposed to, you know, not be that, that advanced at that time. Um. Again, this is all looking very more. This is another thing we see with, you know, the Moorish kind of architecture is all these columns um, holding up roofs. So I'm not sure what these were for. Um, but, but, you know, these might have just been holding tanks for water because you find a lot of these underground. This one clearly isn't because it's above ground and there's holes all through the wall. But, I mean, look at this ceiling. It's a bit, bit hard to see in this photo, but... I mean, how, how would you even design that, let alone, you know, carry it out and build it? It's just crazy. All right, this is the college building in Delhi. This is um, damaged by the Indian mutiny of 1857. Wow, man, they were angry. They've even ripped, ripped a bit of the roof down here. But, you know, Greco Romano, anyone? This is India. This building here has nothing to do with with the story we're told of what was going on in India. And what's that? That looks Egyptian. I mean, I don't see it very well, but it it does, doesn't it, from a distance? Um, and here we have two of the locals, you know. <laughs> and this is what we get, right? These locals who clearly don't, you know have the the knowledge to build 
something like this. I mean, and this thing's just been destroyed. I wonder why. And they love these wars and revolts, don't they, to, and just to destroy the old world architecture. Then they come along and say, oh, well, now it's unsafe, and they bulldoze it. Um, the Delhi Dubar procession with elephants. Here we have the elephants. This this is actually the Red Fort, I'm pretty sure. What's called the Red Fort, this this big building here. Um, got a procession. We've got bells up there. No, can't see any domes. Um, and again, this is what we find all across the realm is these buildings. This is a star fort, basically. Um, you know, slightly different facade, but, you know, the same basic construction. And, of course, they did all this with elephants, apparently, because, you know, there's there's no technology here. A few street lines. It looks like they had trams. Yeah, look, tram tracks. Interesting. More elephants. Um, this is the same procession. And elephants are interesting, aren't they? Apart from the fact that, you know, <laughs> they're pretty interesting to look at. You know, we have this thing of African elephants and Asian elephants, but nothing in the middle, right? And and they, I mean, yeah, I haven't even really looked into the story of that split, but, you know, clearly there were elephants everywhere and they've just been wiped out. This is not the best picture, sorry. This is architecture at the River Ganges, 1870. And again, you know, this massive, like, car this is a castle, massive castle in the background. Look at this bit of tech here. And these are the people living there. And, you know, everything here is just wood. You know, a few umbrellas, you know, they clearly didn't build this. That's a cool castle. These are the people. Um, 1863. And this is their tech. So these guys, um, they're dyeing clothes, right? So this is, you know, the level of tech they had, and this is their workspace and their tools. But look at the building they're standing in. Look at this massive, you know, masonry, cement maybe, geopolymer maybe, base, this huge intricate building, and that this is the level of tech they've got. So... What happened? You know, they don't talk about this fall that clearly happened at some point. Uh, this is 1880s, the Hawa Mahai in Jaipur, Jaipur, how do I say that? Um, Rajasthan, let's say that one. Uh, again, sorry, th these are old photos, so not the best, um, um, what's the word, P <laughs> pixel count. Um, but you can see how intricate this thing, this building is, just completely covered. But but looking old and a bit dilapidated as well. And at the front here, we have the level of tech that they've got, right? Four posts and a piece of cloth over the top for their shop in front of this. And we, we see this juxtaposition everywhere in these old world photos. I mean, look how old this looks. It's just in ruins. Looks like it, you know, probably goes down a bit un under the ground. And again, we just have these people in the f in the foreground who, you know, look like they're saying, "Wow, who built that?" And of course, looks like it's made out of brick, red brick. Um, Imperial Hotel. So I'm not sure the date in this one. Horse and cart, probably 1880s or 90s. And people now enjoying these buildings, being cleaned up a bit and turned into, you know, businesses, right? No doubt that you have to rent. Uh, oh, so this is 1947. We're jumping forward a bit. I've, got, I've put this one in just because look at this cathedral. You know, cathedral tower in the background, that looks like a huge bell, like a, a cylindrical bell. But, you know, this is a cathedral, right? That, you know, that shot there, you could say it was in England or, you know, Europe. But this is, again, this is India. So that's, 
You know, that is the the type of cathedral we see everywhere, just on the streets of um, New Delhi. It says Chadney Chawak in New Delhi. So there you go. Um, I'm getting good at pronouncing these words. Diwan e Kas fought in Delhi. Again, looking what we would call Moorish, but look at the, the work here. And when you look at, you know, just the artwork, it really is, you know, pretty similar to the artwork we see, you know, throughout Europe and, and so-called Western countries, you know, with the flower and the sort of native motifs and the spirals. You know, it's all very similar, isn't it, really? But, I mean, look at these ceilings. Just to go to that work... You know, what, why is that? Is that frequency? You know, is that something to do with the sound and, I don't know, resonance or doing something to it? Who knows? But all this stuff is done for a reason. Um, Jama Masjid in Delhi, 1860s. And again, right, this is what we see everywhere. This, you know, destroyed world, this mud-flooded world with these amazing old buildings in the background and this again this is like a star fort and really the only difference is you know that the domes are more onion shaped you know like there's just a few you know cultural shall we say differences but it's the same structure that we see you know in the americas in europe in africa even in australia nothing this big in australia they've all been destroyed but you know we've got the remnants Ah, coffee break. And welcome to everyone in Australia where it's morning, um, seven or eight o'clock here in New South Wales. So it is definitely coffee time. Um, yeah, and again, right, these people in the the inhabitants just clearly have lost the knowledge of how this was built. Another one. Now, same scenario. We've got the, the canals here. Empty, pretty much. Totally overgrown. Looks like, you know, there's been a few rocks thrown at this. Uh, and I like this. Oh, wow, this has just been completely attacked. Look at it. But, I mean, I mean, this looks like it's had cannons or something thrown at it, whatever they were using. Who knows if cannons were even real back then. Um but yeah, you can see it, it hasn't really, it hasn't damaged the structure, has it? And again, this is all brick, huge gates here and massive dome in the background with an antenna on it. This is Lahore Gate in Delhi, 1857. So again, this is, I'm pretty sure this is the Red Fort. If not, it looks you know very similar so that that's just the kind of architecture but that's what it looks like and this is what is it it just says the whole gate oh camel gun encampment so i guess that's maybe a military branch the camel guns but again right they got this big you know what they tell us is a fort in the background and they they're around here with their little tent so, you know, a bit strange this is what they were building, massive constructions of masonry, and then someone's come along and put a little wooden, little wooden veranda there for us. And what's this? Looks like some kind of vent or something. Who knows? Part of the old tech. Uh, the marble throne in Delhi. Uh, don't know. is that this whole thing? Maybe it doesn't look like a chair, but there you go, the marble throne made out of marble. And that's the other thing is the stone. They're always made out of specific stones, right? That's part of the tech. And these columns looking a bit, you know, Grecian, but, you know, stylized. But as you can see, it's still got these sort of nature-like motifs around it that we see everywhere, you know, just, just stylized a bit. 
Um, this is the Mughal Emperor Humayun's tomb in Delhi in the 1860s. So this is a tomb, you know, much like um, the Taj Mahal, really, isn't it? Pretty similar construction. And, you know, it's, you know, we hear this in Egypt. They tell us pyramids are for tombs. You know, all these major, all this work just to put a dead dude in. Doesn't, doesn't seem, you know, like the story, especially when this has got a huge, you know, antiquitena, shall we call it, antiquitech antenna on the top. Got all the domes around the outside. We've got our mercury balls. You know, this is some kind of power station, I would think. And just, again, you know, <laughs> look at the surrounds. Um, Nepur, or no, sorry, Naka, Naka, or Nabat Kana. Ah, Red Fort, that, okay, so they're calling this the Red Fort this time. So um, this is the Red Fort, as you can see. Big, it's, it's huge, this thing, big walled city, basically, with a star fort. And here we have the inhabitants. You know, clearly something's going on here. Look at this one. And this is another tomb. Another tomb in Delhi, of course. And all the time, right, we get this, um, you know, centerpiece. You know, it's either a dome or a spire or something with an antenna on it. And four around the outside. You see it everywhere. So is this, you know, depicting the realm we're in? The Tree of Life, the Mount Maru, the... Uh, what is it, the Rupus Nigra in the middle, the Black Rock. Um, and then, um, as Martin calls them, right, the four angels around the, around the side, around the, on the corners. Is that something to do with the free energy setup? Because this all looks like it was just mimicking nature, right? The natural energies. And here we have um, four Delhi bankers. All right. When I was young, we used to like hold our tongues and say, my dad's a banker. <laughs> and it made it sound like something else, which is true because that's what bankers are. But these, I don't know, they don't look like the Indians, you know, in the rest of the photos, do they? Were these just picked from the street and, and turned into bankers or were these part of the old realm that were, you know, I don't know, but whatever they've done, even though this looks like a completely set up photo, right? Completely set up. Um, but clearly you can see that some people were given positions, you know, of wealth, shall we say. And most of the others just had to live in squalor and do this, make pots all day. Uh, this is, so this is later, this is 1931, but still, but, you know, this is like, what's that? Um, if my brain works, 70 years later than the other photos where they were dyeing the shirts and that, and still the same level of tech, just working with his hands. I mean, he's good. Look at the stuff he's making. But, you know, no tech. Uh, that, that tech doesn't build this building that he's sitting in. Um, now the cat's hissing at the chooks. If you can hear that, um, life on the farm, hey? This is 1880. This is um, the Great Arch. I guess this is it. It's not so great anymore, is it? Um, it's kind of fallen apart. As you can see, it used to be cool. We've got our pillars out the front here. And, of course, in the background, I mean, and look at the work going into this tower, right? These are angled like triangles and these are rounded off and it's all perfectly symmetrical. And then up here, they're like, no, no more triangles. Let's just go round. Of course, we've got our little veranda here or maybe docking bays, right, for airships maybe. Because, I mean, you look at that and now what does that look like? Like a lighthouse, right? <laughs> what were lighthouses? But look, these have all got decks on the way up. So what are these? You know, what are they for? Uh, airports? You know, we'll, we'll probably be told it was a viewing tower or something. And it might be. We just don't know. But, I mean, that's made of stone. 
That's pretty impressive, especially these balconies, you know, like just jutting out, right? Very cool stuff. Um, this is 1857 rear view of the Jemmy Masjid, which is clearly this thing, I guess. Got our towers, our belfries, onion domes everywhere, massive building. And then down here, you know, we get these. I mean, I don't know, they could be masonry buildings, smaller ones, but clearly, you know, we've just got like cloth, you know, veranda type roofs here. Looks like someone here with a little wooden rack. So again, you know, this scene and this tech doesn't match this, which is, you know, pretty much what I talk about a lot here on this channel. Ruins of the um, Gahib, oh, sorry, Gaib Observatory. Um, again, like what happened here, right? This has been destroyed. This looks like sandbags. So I don't know if that's sandbags or if that's hard, but that <laughs> if that's hard, then that's definitely how they laid the chair polymer, right? Um, but look at this again, you know, Greco-Romano columns, you know, what we're told is Greco-Romano, but this place has been destroyed. You can see how nice it was. And, you know, this looks like it's been blown up, doesn't it? doesn't look melted or anything. It just looks destroyed. So what did that? Um, oh, this is a snake charmer. And, of course, in the background, we have one of the controllers by the looks of it. But yes, there you go. That snake thinks that he is, is charming. Ah, St. James Church in Delhi showing damage caused by the mutiny fighting in 1858. So I'm going to have to look into this mutiny, I think. But here we go. The, the mutiny caused this. Because this is what you do, right? When you have a mutiny, you go and attack all the buildings, you know, in, in your local area that you could use. You go and destroy them. Clearly. Uh, this one has already been got to. <laughs> or is that just an antenna that they just took for their symbol? Uh, mercury ball. Got the resonator here. Got our portals, porthole windows. And, yeah, it's been... Smashed up, and again, right? Like, I mean, look at that. How Greco-Romano is that? And this is, it, it's hard to see, but it looks like this is just branches and bits of wood. And is, is that the repair job? I don't know. But again, right, this is the level of tech. You know, clearly couldn't build this. Okay, now we have um, the mogul of Delhi with his children, again, completely set up photo but you know back then obviously this is what they did with photos so it could be him so this is you know what happened to him and his family clearly they're saying that he was some kind of ruler or you know native you know emperor or something mogul and yeah not looking too happy neither of the kids really they're looking they're looking pretty bored <laughs> This guy's just like, what? Why have I got this silly hat on? Um, oh, here we go. Stairway to Heaven. Uh, the Jantar Mantar Observatory. Oh, this is that same place. This has just been destroyed. This guy's going up the stairway to heaven. He's doing it. Is that a door at the top? It seriously looks like a door at the top. Um, and this, I mean, this, this looks... I mean, it could be real. It's just a... Real contrast to the background, isn't it? I don't know if the background's been whited out. Vanilla skied. Look at this. I mean, what is that? Oh, is, okay, is that the top of a building or is that a stairway going up? Because down here it looks like a building that's fallen over sideways. But it, whatever, like destruction, right? Look at these piles of bricks. Just whatever was here got completely destroyed and 1858 so this is around that date so they'll probably say this is the rebellion like what they came and took apart a building brick by brick and these are the silly stories we get 
Oh, this is 1875. The Juma Jemmy <laughs> Mosjid in Delhi. And, I mean, this one survived, right? Very cool. This is. Uh, did we look at this one before? M maybe we saw the building, but different photo. Don't know. Don't know what these these things are. Some kind of, I don't know, well or something. But, again, this huge, massive construction. These are the people. Right, so completely oversized and just dirt roads. Dirt roads everywhere. Another one, 1872. I mean, it looks like they've just been hit by rockets, doesn't it? They just have been blown apart. Just you know, and these, and this is a the thing. These are the ruins, right? And look how old this looks. And this is, you know, 150 years ago. You know, but we have these same buildings all over India. Um, and I'm sure some of them were told were built, you know, a lot, you know, around the 1800s, right? Because this clearly was built a long, long time ago, but it's the same architecture. Uh, and <laughs> this is another tomb. Um, and again, right, very Taj Mahali. And look on this massive platform, um, you know, probably, I don't know, is there something under there? They've got a big... This was probably fountains, I would think. Fountains and a pool. And the Lone Guard. All right. This is the <laughs> Tugala Kabad Fort in Delhi in the 1870s. And again, just destroyed. And you can see like the amount of bricks that would have gone into just this little portion of this one of, you know, this one of thousands of forts across the room, just this little bit, like look at the amount of bricks in here. Like you can see this, this is, look how thick these walls are. How was this constructed? Because I mean, if, if, if these were laid by hand, you know, that's, I mean, that is just so much work, even with tech. You know, unless, of course, you had some kind of bricklaying machine. You know, it's, it's like um, Fort Jefferson of Florida. It's got 60 million bricks. You know, how long would that take to lay, apart from the fact that it's in the middle of the ocean? But uh, back to India, right? Um, the Yamuna, River Yamuna, the Red Fort again. So you can see this used to be a river. So clearly the, something's happened with the water levels or the, at least the, the water system. Um, got our bridge here and the massive fort in the background. I mean, just look at all this massive construction. And again, right, the locals. Um, 1860s Delhi. This is from the Red Fort. There's not many people in these photos. There's a couple here. But that's a big spread, right? It's a big, you know, it's almost wall to wall. Sort of two, three story buildings. And there's not that many people around. There's a couple here in the foreground. So there you go, Delhi in the 1860s. Um, this is, again, Delhi, 1857. So you can see this is just all built up. It's all, it's all masonry buildings, you know, and you look in, we've got our little triangles that we see everywhere on the porticos. We've got the same kind of balustrading. Um, got the little orbs here, like the mercury orbs. So this is all got the features of old world buildings, and these are the people. So... Big doors, right? Big windows. So this is all built out. So, you know, were the, I don't know, were these the houses that people were living in and they just got destroyed in most cities? Because there's a lot of these in, in these photos in Delhi. But but clearly these are all, you know, like this is two stories and a bit. So these are all at least, you know, there's taller ones. Two, three-storey brick buildings everywhere. 
And again, these people, you know, don't seem to have the, the knowledge to build these. This is a pole. Um, okay, this is the Iron Pillar, 1872. Looks like it had a bit of melt maybe at the bottom there. But this is iron. This is 1872. This is still standing and it doesn't rust. It doesn't get rust on it. So this is one of the another one of the old world alloys, right? Um, and we see this in, in like the balustrading, you know, the, that um, iron work for fencing and stuff that's everywhere. It's normally painted black. Um, but that stuff doesn't rust either. So this is, again, they, they knew a lot about metallurgy that, you know, has either been lost or, or taken from us. Oh, I think that's the last picture. So there we go. That was Old World India. Are you the big?